All right, so uh, over the next couple of days, I'm going to attempt to to install a mini split. Um, should be pretty interesting. This is a Fujitsu system. It's the uh, what is it exactly? The Oh, the ASU-15RLS3 is the name of it. And so when you get it, it's all packaged up into a uh, well, bunch of boxes. This is the head unit, so the indoor unit. And you can see there's the, the rest of the box. This is going in our gym because it gets really hot in this room and we want it to be cooler. So... Um, We'll be able to cool it in uh, in summertime and heat it in winter. Okay, so here's a view outside the house. As you can see, my wall sort of angles off at 90 degrees, and what I want to do is come through this small portion of wall here and run the line set down the wall. You can see, if I zoom in, right there is where I bored through. So um, that's where I'm going to cut the hole. I won't film it because I don't want to get this camera all dusty. You probably won't see anything anyway. So when we come back, there should be a hole there. So one thing to be aware of with this is I just noticed when I installed it up there on the bracket a little bit of this that's oh, hippo, get out of the hippo hippo, get away a little bit of this well, this piece down here overhangs so you can see it from, uh, watch out so you can see it from outside the unit and so what I'm going to do is just a little line here and cut it off hopefully a little bit uh, enough to <laughs> Get out of it. Stay there, hips. Hippo. Sit. Ah, ah. Down. Good girl, stay there. So as you can see with my model dog hippo, down. Stay, good girl. I'll um I'll cut this little piece off here and then uh and then hopefully that should clear the issue up. Okay, so I made the cut. You can see I slice it off here, so that'll be the bottom now. Um, no rocket science, it's a uh, pair of scissors did that, no problem at all. Um, this came with the unit, I bought it from uh, units.com, I'll post a link. And it extends, if you want it to, when it's fully contracted it fits perfectly into my wall, I might need to make it just a slightly bigger. and. Uh, yeah, not bad.
So this is the line set cover that we're using. It's by uh, Fortress. It's the uh, four and a half inch set. I wanted a little extra room. Not sure if I'll need it or not, but um, but hey, may as well use it. Bought it off Amazon. Relatively cheap. You can see here it says it's the what, the 122 millimeter duct kit or four and a half inches. And so. What we're going to do is go right up there and uh, start putting some of the pieces in there just to cover that line set and go from there. Okay, so here you can see the line set cover is installed. I corked around the top of it up there just in case the um, line set weeps or there's a hole or whatever. The water will just um, still go in the connector between the uh, the inside of the house and the outside of the house, and just run down the um, the line set, which is not a big deal. Well, not a huge deal, not ideal, but it is what it is. And then you can see, it just goes down, down to there, and then here's my electrical. I didn't ha I didn't have to run electrical. The um, house already came with the um, electrical ready it's uh, aluminum line but it's good for 30 amps and this thing only needs I think a maximum starting amps of, of uh, or maximum maximum amperage of 20 I'm not sure exactly what the starting amps are I think it's only six so uh, yeah next step is to put the wiring up I put the wiring up put the, um, the disconnect up so uh, that's what I'll do All right, now I'm going to torque it with the torque wrench. I've got it set to uh, about 58 Newton meters. And the spec says it should be anywhere between 49 and uh, 61. So actually I'll back it off a little bit. 49 and 61, let's do 55. Super scientific. All right. Use the other wrench to counter your turning. You don't want to snap the thing off. Clearly. Let's go further. Theoretically done. I'm going to pressure test this later, so we'll see whether it is, is actually done. All right, onwards and upwards. Okay, so now I'm running a, uh, a pressure test. I've hooked up the nitrogen cylinder and uh, running it through the, the manifold here and into the uh, service valve. I still haven't released any of the gas yet from the, um, from the unit itself because it comes shipped with gas. One thing you'll need to know is that you'll this part here, the bit that runs from here to there, just this piece, ended up buying that off Amazon because this is a 5 sixteenths fitting. These are quarter inch fittings and that just converts it down. So uh, just mental note, that water line you see is where I've sprayed some uh, soap to check the bubbles. 
not saying much. So yeah, it's um, it's doing pretty good. It's down to two hundred and two point four psig. So um, seems to be holding pretty true with that. I'll leave it for another ten or twenty minutes. It might drop a few, uh, well, a few points of a psi because it's starting to cool down here. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I left the uh, pressure test overnight um, at about 7 p.m. I think it had 216.7 in there, and now it's at 216.1, uh, but it's or 216.2. It's a bit cooler now, so um, I think that's pretty good. I checked all the joints with uh, soapy water; didn't see any bubbles. So now it's time to evacuate. Um, one thing I will tell you, if this is the first time you do it, especially on this machine, I'm not sure if it's the same with others, but, uh, this little connection right here, I ordered that off Amazon because it takes this from 5 sixteenths, well, this from 5 sixteenths down to a quarter inch, which is what these hoses are. What I found is, um, even though it's got the this has a straighter valve in it. The connection in here wasn't depressing the straighter valve, so <clears throat> when I was pressurizing it, I was getting some pressure in here, but not enough. And I figured that out, I guess, kind of the hard way, and that when I evacuated it, it, it would evacuate down to um, under 300 uh, microns within seconds. So I should have known something was, getting, something was up. But um, anyway, I tighten this on, got my little wrench on it, um, not too tight, just enough to know it's, it's actually um, going in there now. And the way I figured it out that there was pressure in there is I just put my finger on the uh, valve itself and depressed it and, and some of the old nitrogen was coming out. So um, now I know, now I'm going to empty it all out and... Uh, Start the vacuum pump and see how long it takes to run down to uh, to 500 microns and below. I'll probably get it down to I don't know two or three hundred, I would think, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect the uh, the vacuum. I'm down to 155 microns, so I'm going to disconnect that from the system real quick, and then uh, we'll go from there. So when you get the kit for the uh, the interior unit, you get these little brackets. Oh, focus. And you also get this little packet here. Um, basically, these are little filters. I'm not exactly sure. I'm a big believer in them working, but. We're going to assemble them anyway and uh, see what happens. The way it works is so the way those filters work is they plug into these filters. So just go up here. Take this filter out. And on the back of it, you'll see we've got those little tabs there. And this filter will plug into the bracket and the filter will plug into that. So let's go and assemble them.
Okay, so uh, got everything hooked up. Here's the remote. We're uh, going to press this button and see what happens. I've, uh, well, I guess I've read the instructions, but um, not 100% confident. We'll see what happens. So let's focus on the uh, on the unit and press the button and see if it works. Oh, looks promising. Okay. The controller says auto mode, temperature 76, auto fan. Definitely blowing. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to tell it to cool it down to 70, actually 68, and see what happens. Now, that's a unit outside. Alright, so uh, here we are outside. You can see the fans are definitely going, blowing out some hot air, so that's a good thing, I suppose. Probably what it's supposed to do. And uh, that's max noise. Quieter than my vacuum pump. Hmm. So far, so good.